Here's some notes on the treatment of heart failure. Let's start with acute and then go to chronic heart failure. In acute decompensated heart failure, if your patient has respiratory distress and you need first line respiratory support, you should try non-invasive positive pressure ventilation first. This is better than intubation because with non-invasive positive pressure ventilation, you still have some negative pressure ventilation from the patient's own actions, from the patient's own chest expansion. This is important because if you have just intubation with positive pressure ventilation, you could reduce the patient's preload. So with non-invasive positive pressure ventilation, that negative pressure ventilation, that expanding of the chest wall will improve uh, the patient's preload compared to positive pressure ventilation. Some medications for acute decompensated heart failure, oxygen, diuretics, nitrates, and morphine. For diuretics, you wanna do bolus dosing instead of continuous uh, drip diuretics, which is a little strange to think about, but it used to be tried. Ionotropes might be used. Dobutamine is preferred over milrinone if needed. You wanna avoid nitrates like nitroglycerin if the patient is taking phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors. This includes drugs like sildenafil or um, Viagra. This is because they both work on the same mechanism. Nitroglycerin leads to more cyclic GMP, whereas phosphodiesterase 5 prevents the breakdown of cyclic GMP. And you don't want both of those on the same mechanism or you'll have too much GMP and you might have too much vasodilation. The chronic management of heart failure. For systolic dysfunction, patients with a low ejection fraction, you should give ACE inhibitors or ARBs. These are shown to reduce mortality. Beta blockers like metoprolol or carvedilol also reduce mortality and so does spironolactone. Diuretics it might help with symptoms and digoxin has also been used historically. For diastolic dysfunction with a normal ejection fraction, you wanna use beta blockers and diuretics.